Hey everyone, so recently I was trying to create a carousel slider like the one shown on screen in React Native, and one of the popular libraries was React Native Snap Carousel. So I went ahead and implemented it, and as you can see on Android, it has its problems. So I thought, screw it, let's just make my own. So this is what the end product came out to. I think it looks pretty good, and I'm going to show you guys how you can make one just like it. So first things first, I've got to give a big shout out to Tech Savvy and his video labeled React Native Carousel because most of the code that I used came from this video. All right, so the first thing that I would do is create your data set. I'm just assigning it to variable data and then it has two fields, the ID and then the URL. This URL is just URLs to images. And then I'll get into navigation later, but this is for a back button create a ref, I called it carousel ref, and I assigned it to null. View config ref is just an object where you set view area coverage percentage threshold to 95. Create a state, I'm calling mine active index. This will represent the current image on the screen and the index of that image within the flat list. So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is create another variable, I'm calling it on view ref. Use the ref hook and then pass in this function into there. And pretty much what this does is it sets the active index whenever you swipe left or right. And the next thing you want to do is import view and flat list from React Native. Also you should have imported use ref and use state. So the first thing that I would do is create a view and give it a flex of one. Then within that view, you wanna create a flat list component, set data equal to the data set that you just created, set horizontal to true, show horizontal scroll indicator to false. For render item, you wanna render an image background, and I'll get to the styles in a little bit. Then for the key extractor prop, if you don't have a unique ID, you can always use the index. Set paging enabled to true. For ref, set it equal to this. Viewability config, assign it viewability config ref that you created earlier. And set on viewable items changed to on view ref dot current. So for the image background component, I'm passing in this into the style prop, which is just getting the width of the device and subtracting 20 from it and then setting the height to 300. And for the image style, I'm setting the bottom right and left radiuses to have a border radius of 30 and then the top ones to have a border radius of 10. After writing that code, you should have something like this where you can scroll through various images in your data set going left and right. So now let's create the pagination component, which is essentially the dots beneath the images that indicate the index. So all you really have to do is map through your data set and display a dot for every index within that data set. So that is what this code is doing. And then for the outside container, I'm calling it dot container. You just need to give it a flex direction of row, justify content to center, and then give it a vertical margin of 15. And for the dots, the styles are also pretty simple. I'm giving mine a width of seven, a height of seven, a margin of five, border radius equal to 30, and then a background color of white. And if the index of the image is equal to the active index, it's gonna have an opacity of one. And if not, it's gonna have an opacity of 0.5. So with the pagination code added, this is how your slider should look and feel like. So with pagination added, let's go ahead and display the image number on top of the image. And this is the code to do that. So what you're gonna need is a view. You're gonna need to import blur view from Expo, and then you'll need a text component. So within the text component, we're gonna display the active index plus one, and then have this division symbol, and then we're gonna display the length of the data set on the right hand side. For that text component, we're gonna wrap it in a blur view component. 
I'm giving mine the tint of light and the intensity of 30. And these are what the styles look like. So we're giving it a margin right of 10, a padding of 10, margin bottom of 10, border radius of 10, overflow as hidden, align items to center, and align self to flex end. And those styles would put the blur view in the bottom right hand side of the image. And for the parent view, I'm giving it these styles, which are just a flex of one and justify content of flex end. This is what it looks like with the numbers added in the bottom right. You can always mess with the styles and change the location of the numbers, but this is where I put it. So now let's create a back button in the top left and a rating display in the top right. And this is the code to do that. So essentially we have two components and we want to lay them side by side. So we need to create those two components and wrap them in a view. So the top level view has these styles. I'm giving it a width of 100%, position of absolute, a flex direction of row, margin top of 15, a Z index of 10, and justifying content to be spaced between. So within that view, I'm importing Pressable from React Native, and whenever that gets pressed, I'm going back, and I'm using the navigation hook to do that. So let me show you guys that. So I'm imp importing use navigation from React Navigation, and then assigning that to the variable navigation. And whatever that gets pressed, the opacity of that component turns to 0.5. And within that component, we have a view, a blur view, and an icon. So really, we only need to be concerned about the styles of the blur view. Again, I'm giving it a tint of light, intensity of 30. And here are the styles for the blur view. So I'm giving it a margin left of 10, padding of 10, border radius of 30, overflow is set to hidden, and aligning self to center, and that will create a circular X in the top left of the image. So with that done, let's get to the rating system, which is this code. So I, I created a stars component, which I'm placing inside of a view. And these are the styles for that parent view. I'm giving it a margin right of 10, border radius of 10, and setting overflow to hidden. And now let me show you guys the stars component. I'm using the glossy component, and this is the code for that. So we have on the top level, we have a view. And then within that, we have a blur view. And then within that, we have an icon, the stars, and then the text. So let's look at these styles for the blur view. And I'm giving it a padding top of 5, padding bottom of 5, padding left of 10, padding right of 10, flex direction of row, aligning items to center, and a border radius of 10. Again, I'm going tint equal to light and intensity equal to 30. And then for the parent view, the styles are flex direction of row and aligning items to center. So this is what it looks like on an iPhone. You've got the X in the top left to go back. You have the stars in the top right. And this is what it looks like on an Android. You've got the pagination component showing the current index. You can go back there as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching.